Today's the day, you guys. The Practical Approaching System drops today. And what I wanted to share with you guys is something that's very, very relevant to this, and that's my story. Okay, my story coming through this whole journey, kind of how I became a dating coach, how I learned what I learned, the pain that I had to go through. Um, you know, hopefully this story will inspire you and hopefully it will kind of like, you know, give you some motivation to keep going forward when times get tough because that's where we're going to start with. Um, we're going to start with the lowest point. The lowest point that I can remember uh, was definitely my freshman year of college. I was very, very depressed during that period. You know, I thought that I was going to have the most amazing year. I thought I was going to hook up with a ton of women. I thought, you know, I was going to date some amazing girls like high school. Like, you know, I didn't have much success there, but this is, you know, college is when the time that I was going to make it. And I remember I was like super in love with this one girl. You know, she had... She had been the girl that I've been thinking about like pretty much the entire year. Like we had been friends. Um, and when I finally worked up the courage to ask her out, she completely ghosted me and then ended up getting back together with her ex-boyfriend. And I wish that was the end of that story. <laughs> Cause after that happened, I ended up building myself back up, you know, and I've kind of focused on myself. And then eventually she came back into my life. And although I had like tried to go out and, and talk to girls here and there, you know, I didn't really have much success. And then she came back into my life and obviously I got suckered back in. We, we dated for like a, a little bit, but then it, the exact same thing happened. You know, as soon as I fell madly in love with her, as soon as I was like head over heels for this girl, she went, completely ghosted me, didn't talk to me at all, and then ended up dating some actor in LA. So after that period of time, you know, I had failed doing a lot of things that I thought I was going to do. I had failed making the friends that I would wanted to make. I didn't date any of the girls that I wanted to date. And the one girl that I really poured my heart and soul out to basically just took it, stamped on it, and crushed it, <laughs> okay? So I was in a pretty bad spot at that time. And then right afterwards, I graduated college. I was, you know, doing a job that most people were like envious of me for. I had some like working for some big, you know, software tech company. As a, as a software engineer. Um, and I was so unhappy during this period. Like, I remember going out and just feeling like nobody liked me. For a long time in my life, I had had this kind of like really big insecurity. I, just, I thought there was something wrong with me. From, from very little to like when, it, even sometimes I'll get it now, but it doesn't really happen that much now. But like uh, then I felt it extremely strongly. I thought something about me people just didn't like. Like there was just something that was wrong. And I couldn't put my finger on it. No one could tell me what it was. But I, I felt this very, very strongly. And when you have this thought, it, it kind of eats away at your soul. And so at that time, I took a bunch of like, you know, psycho psychological tests. And a lot of them told me I was at risk for suicide. And more than half of them told me I should seek medical attention immediately. Well, after I took those tests as kind of like an F you to them, I basically was like, no, there's no way that I'm doing that. I'm going to figure this out myself. I'm going to do whatever it takes, even if it kills me. Okay. So you know what I did? I went out every single week for five nights a week. Okay. Five nights a week, every single week, didn't skip a beat for five years. And I did this because I wanted to learn how to like actually be liked by people. I wanted to learn how to walk up and talk to women and get them to like you. Okay. I saw them liking a bunch of my other friends. I saw them, you know, going after guys that I thought were not as good as me, but apparently they were a lot better than me because they were having so much better success. Okay. And I got to admit the first few years was rough, man. It was, it was a tough time. I did not look forward to going out. Most people look forward to going out to have fun. I did not look forward to it, but I still did it anyway. And I made a lot of mistakes during that time. I made a lot of embarrassing, every mistake that you could possibly think of, I made. Every embarrassing situation that could happen, happened to me. And I went through all of this. And you know, what ended up happening was that I ended up actually having some good times towards the end. I ended up sleeping with a few hundred women and I'm dating some models, ended up having incredible sexual experiences that, you know, only like kings and sultans of the past would could could brag about. It was pretty cool. You know, my you know, <laughs> my younger self was was pretty happy about that. Okay. But the pain that I had to go through to get there 
was I don't think most people are willing to go through that pain and I honestly don't want you guys to have to go through that pain either to be able to learn how to do this. Okay, so here's some of the things that I learned during that period of time. Number one, it's possible to learn how to walk up and make a good first impression on people and be able to like, uh, you know, whether it's a guy or a girl even, like there's a skill to people. There's a skill to learning how to talk and, and basically game. And it does matter. You know, anyone can learn this sort of stuff. That's what I learned. There was people of all different shapes and sizes that I saw that were improving during this. And there were some people of all shapes and sizes that didn't improve either. Okay. Number two, looks, money, all of those things that people say are like the be all end all. Yes, they do help. Um, but I've, what I've found is that they're not the deciding factor. The deciding factor is usually what I just mentioned. And that's, you know, if you do certain things, then you tend to have a leg up on those guys. For instance, I used to go out with guys that were way better looking than me, or a lot of them had more money than me, and I was broke a lot during this period of time. And be during that period, like at first they would get a lot of attention, and then slowly but surely I would see if I did certain things, they would grab, the women would gravitate more towards me because I made them feel better. And the guys who had all these, you know, uh, the looks, the money and all that stuff, they didn't learn this stuff because they were relying on those characteristics to get them those girls. Okay, so I found out that although looks and money help, they're not the deciding factor. Number three, I, for a long time, I thought that my practical and logical nature, like I was kind of a nerdy kid all the time, I thought that that was always a detriment. I thought that no girl was gonna like me for it, so I would try and hide those sides of myself. Turns out, that actually turned to be one of my biggest assets, okay? I learned how to break down social interaction to practical and actionable steps. Things that most guys just don't, they're just like, oh, you know, just do this, or oh, sometimes that works, you know? The fact that I was able to break it down to like practical and actionable steps means that no matter where I was, anywhere, anytime, for whomever, I would be able to do, I would be able to make it work, okay? The fourth thing, the fourth thing was that, I think this was the fuel that carried me through everything. Most, I, and I, I had guys who went out with me regularly. I had guys who consumed a lot of the information, like they watched like pickup videos and stuff too. They watched like you, d dating YouTube guys, okay? They did some of the stuff that I did but they didn't put any skin in the game. I actually, I paid for a dating coach at that time. I paid for like, at the time, those products cost like thousands of dollars. Like I paid like $2,000 for uh, like a dating product that RSD came out with you know, a while ago, okay? Did it help me? Eh, it helped me a little bit. Um, but I put some skin in the game. I wanted it badly. A lot of these guys, they would just go out, they would watch the videos, they watch the free videos, and they would just kind of like walk around and talk to people sometimes, but they weren't really committed. And I, when I went out, I was like, dude, I spent money on this, like I'm, I, I need this to work. And I think the money helped, but it was really the pain that I, that I was running from. I knew what it was like being that depressed and hating yourself and thinking that no one liked you. I knew how much that hurt. And I was gonna do whatever it took to not experience that pain again. And so that's what really carried me beyond. Like a lot of these guys that were my friends that I went out with, they didn't really improve too much. They, their people skills kind of stayed the same. And I think it's because I had more skin in the game, okay? And there was another thing that happened. So that was the fuel that carried me. And the other thing that I learned too was I had an epiphany, which was that I had been going out there and making all these mistakes myself. Wouldn't it be better if I learned from somebody who actually had already made these mistakes? So I got mentors. Like I said, I got a dating coach. I paid for some information products. I also started hanging out with this guy named Evil Stifler. Hanging out with guys that had been doing this for a while, who like were better with people, who had gone out a lot. They taught me how to act. They, they, they showed me what worked and what didn't work. I didn't have to like relearn everything by making all of these mistakes, although I had made enough mistakes to probably learn, but I'm a slow learner. Um, so I learned that you can learn faster by doing this. So mentors really help. And, and all of these guys, weren't relying on the stuff that you traditionally think would, would get you girls, like the looks and the money, okay? Learning psychology, learning how people work, all of this stuff is, uh, is super, super helpful, not just in, you know, getting girls, but in your business life as well, too. Like, it, social skills really help, okay? So from this stuff, I basically taught myself how to walk up to any girl at any time, start a conversation, see if we vibe, and then take it somewhere. Okay, 
to walk up and be able to attract any girl is like a superpower. And that's really why I'm here and why I'm talking is because I want you guys, and I know it's possible. I know some of you are in pain right now, or maybe some of you are just like, eh, well, that sounds like it would be cool. It'd be cool for somebody else. No, you can do this too, dude. It's definitely possible. My mission and why I started this YouTube channel, why I started this business is I want to help a thousand guys be able to do this. I want a thousand men who are committed to improving their dating lives be able to walk up and talk to any girl at any time and create attraction, create something there. You know, take advantage of opportunities. There are women walking around that are looking for an awesome guy like you. And if you let them walk by and don't do anything, then you're leaving opportunities on the tail. You're doing, you're doing a disservice not to yourself, but also to the women too. And so my goal is to make sure that you guys don't have to go through the same pain that I went through. And if you are going through the pain right now, I want to give you a way that you can stop it, that you can move on to something greater and start loving life. Like it's great when you know, when, you, when you're able to do this. I know any time that my dating life sucks, I can literally just walk outside and talk to a girl and you know, problem solved, okay? Wouldn't it be nice to have something like that in your life and not have to go through the freaking five nights a week for five years? Sounds pretty nice to me. And that's why I've put so much work into what I've put into. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, please, if you think that the practical approaching system has any chance of helping you, I highly recommend that you check it out. And if you're watching this on the order form, I highly recommend that you read everything on the order form. If you're not gonna purchase the product, that's fine. You'll probably learn a few things from reading the information there. But this is my life's work, you guys, is I put all the stuff that I know into this program and it's gonna be getting better and better as time goes on. I'm gonna continue to add stuff to it. So this is the, we're, we're releasing this right now for a limited time, these are the lowest prices. And I would love to see you guys there. And if you choose to say yes, Congratulations, and I'll see you on the inside.